Hey everybody, welcome back to Magic Orthodoxy. My name is David and this is a deck review. Hey, today we're going to look at the Liars and Thieves deck from the Expert Playing Card Company. Alright, so what is the Liars and Thieves deck? What's the uh, inspiration behind it? Well, Liars and Thieves is a beautifully designed deck that combines all the benefits of a white border deck uh, accompanied with the deceptive qualities of an overall uh, back design, like a casino back. The design on the court cards is minimalized to create a very clean look, and each deck comes complete with two identical jokers, a blank face card, and a double backer. The tuck ace is made of a special synthetic paper that is built to last with resistance to tearing and moisture. And because it's an expert playing cards company deck, it is a side-loading tuck. And you can see that it's, uh, this is the back design of the cards and it kind of wraps around. Uh, and then it has the white on the top. On the back, you'll have the Liars and Thieves logo there and a little bit of ad copy on the bottom. The only other writing is right here on the side of the tuck ace. And it says, you cannot con an honest man. That is pretty much it for the tuck case. Let's take a look at these cards. Like I said, these cards are printed from the Expert Playing Card Company, and they are done with their master finish, which means they are very thin and very firm. Uh, Expert would have you believe that these are comparable to Jerry's Nuggets, which are the choice cards for many uh, of the Magician Masters. It has a semi-smooth finish and a very subtle embossing pattern. Now, a lot of people will always ask how these cards feel, how they handle. Uh, best thing I can do is measure them for you and give you a scientific reading about how thick they are. And then you can compare that number to a previous deck maybe you, that you've held or owned. When I take 10 of these cards and stick it in the caliper, it comes to 2.76. 2.76 is about on par with the Illusionist Roadhouse deck. There's that back design we were talking about earlier, and you can see that there is a border, but it's kind of deceptive because it's created uh, by stopping the repeating pattern. So it's not a square edged straight border, it's kind of a bumpy border. But again, you get the best of both worlds. Uh, it's a repeating pattern, like I said, and then you have that Liars and Thieves logo on the top and bottom as a repeating image. And like I said earlier, uh, with this deck, you'll get two gaffes. You'll get a blank faced and a double backer, which are great for magic. Your Ace of Spades is very ornate, very big. It's just a giant exploded tip there in the middle made up of a bunch of ink line work. With this deck, you'll get two Jokers. Uh, they're the standard expert playing card Jokers that we've seen uh, with all of the releases since the Zen deck. Your Pips and Indice cards will all be completely standard and instantly recognizable, making them perfect for magic, gameplay, and flourishing. Your court cards are gonna look standard. They almost have an Arco feel to them, but as you'll see, they're kind of exploded. They're a lot bigger than a standard court, and they're borderless, which means uh, they have a very uh, beautiful, very timeless look to them. All right, so that is my review of the Liars and Thieves deck from the Expert Playing Card Company. I purchased mine from penguinmagic.com, and if you would like to purchase your own, I would suggest you go there as well. As always, we ask that you like this video just so other people can find it faster. We also recommend that you subscribe to this channel just so that you can stay up to date on the latest in cards and card magic. If you want to follow me on social media, you can. I'm at facebook.com slash magic orthodoxy, twitter.com slash magic orthodoxy, instagram.com slash magic underscore orthodoxy. And if you need more content, you can always find it at magicorthodoxy.com. Thanks. Bye.